There you go. That's the master from underneath. And, you know, I had initially bled it. Of course, I don't have any lines on right now, so it'll, but I squirted it and, like, shot all the way over here, so everything was working. This is... Of course, they only have four-inch bolts, and I didn't want to reuse the original ones because it was really towing the line there. It was really close to the end, but these are a little bit too long. Um, but they look like they bottom out. Everything gets tight. I basically left the holes pretty oblong to give me extra room for adjustment because this, the original bracket here, see, I drilled the one hole, put a bolt there, and it goes to there for that side of the master. And what that does is it allowed everything to, you know, come together bolting everything loosely and then tighten it up to let it form where it needed to go. I did notch the bracket that I have over here. Um, I said this was 2 inch by 3 inch. I'm still going to stick by that, but I honestly didn't measure it. But it's a looks heavier than this quarter inch uh, stock. Looks like 5 sixteenths. Very heavy duty. And over here, this is all hooked up already. i got to put this, the, the clips in, of course, but I'm just going to take this out. This is a little tricky getting in, but of course my my pedal is loose now, so it's actually easier than it probably would be. Um, it'd probably help if I had you know a new bolt and a new eyelet eye eye you know piece here. I had sandblasted and it looked pretty pretty clean it from not going into going in completely so basically this goes in the magic number here because this this bracket is here I measured it to be two inches from the center of the center of this bolt to the bracket here so this is gonna have to be some kind of spacing here um, I was gonna put like an inch and a half like ratty to hose over the the master here to protect it and then when you when you bolt it up you know when you go you know this way to bolt it on it'll kind of crush it if you make the hose just a little bit longer but then I was thinking if water got in there anyway it may stay so I just assume keep it open and maybe just spray it with white lube or something along those lines and uh, now I'm going to take out this um, rod that I made and let me just come out here Sorry, I'm the consummate slob. Um, so basically, this is the original one. I found 7 16 fine thread um, to coarse thread uh, uh, studs that I put on either side, and then I used the regular coupler here. This was something I got at the metal guy at the same time. It's a very thick walled, um, it's a very thick walled sleeve. It was about three eighths on the inside. So I bought a 7 16 fine thread tap and I tapped it and I'm going to put a nut and lock washer on each side and as well as in here this was just a test and basically um, you really can't adjust it on this side end and it's hard enough to adjust it on this end um, you know I'm not saying that I don't trust what I did here but I you know uh, I feel better Assembling the whole thing tightening it down not in the car and then you know putting it all back in it's easier enough to slip the whole thing the whole you know rod completely out It's easy enough to slip the whole rod out so um, I didn't mind uh, Taking it all out and putting it all in until I get my final measurement and uh, Tightening everything up you know, but I'm gonna put lock washers and everything here and it's gonna I think it's gonna work out all right um, I'm gonna try a different master as well not sure if I'll use it or not um, the good thing about having the Chevy Master there, and it's right in line with the floor, although there's a big hole there, you know, God forbid you got to put your foot there, it's kind of heavy, you know, it's it's something that you could stand on if you had to, whereas the uh, this uh, the Dodge one that I bought with the plastic reservoir has a bigger um, uh, piston in it, but then I started thinking that, you know, God forbid if you step on it and you and you break the, the, the reservoir, so I'm starting to have second thoughts. But it depends how far it goes out of the uh, the floor. If most of the floor is there, I was hoping for just two 
two small holes where the um, uh, what do you call it is the uh, where the master is. So therefore, you're probably not going to do anything. But I, I got to measure and see. It's 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 hard to tell from the picture. So I physically bought it. And if not, I'll just return it. No big deal. I got this one in here. It should be fine anyway. All right. Thanks for watching.